Now that we're getting search results back, I want to make it a little easier to highlight the search area. You may see on some sites where if you do the forward slash, it will put the search box in focus or command K. I'm going to show you how to do the command K method, though you could also change it up to do the forward slash to focus the search input. Let's go to our code. All right, I'm on the search.view component here. And what we're going to do is go to the very bottom within the script section, and we're going to add a new mounted function. So after the data area, let's do a comma and then type in mounted. And so when this is mounted, we'll run a function. And we're going to use the this dot next tick. And what we're going to do is add a function in this. And what we're going to add in here is an event listener. So we'll add that to the window, window dot add event listener. And we'll look for when the key is pressed down on your keyboard to listen to those events. Therefore, we're going to add in key down right here. And then for the event, we'll do the callback. And we want to see which keys are pressed on key down. And the ones that we are interested in is command K. Or if you're on a Windows device, Windows K. If you want to do the forward slash option, you could do an if event to capture that as well. So if event dot meta key. And what meta key is, is meta key is kind of a conglomerate of different types of keys, depending on what operating system you're using. If you're using Mac OS, for example, this is the command key. If you're using Windows, that is the Windows key. So event dot meta key. If the event detects that key being pressed and the K key, which is event dot key equals K. And this is pretty nice. You used to have to put the key code in here, but now you could just do event dot key and then put in the key name in this case, K. So if both the meta key and the event key are pressed at the same time, then what are we going to do? Well, we want to put that search box into focus this dot refs. And if you recall earlier, we added a reference to the search input box called search input. And we're going to call that reference. Now this dot refs dot search input, which is the name of that reference dot focus. And so that's going to focus that input box. What we also want to do is add event dot prevent default. What this will do is for some browsers, for instance, such as Firefox, I think was doing this. If you type in command K, instead of the search box within our site being highlighted, being in focus, what that does on Firefox is that it actually puts into focus the search box for the Firefox browser, not what we want. So we want to prevent that default from happening. And we just want ours to be highlighted in this case. We'll save this out and then go to our browser and then test it out. All right, let's do command K and see what happens. Perfect. It puts that search input into focus. But what you don't see is any kind of indicator, any kind of default value that says, hey, if you tap command K or Windows K on your device, it's going to put this into focus. We'll now add that guidance in as a placeholder into the search input area so that when a user sees it, that, hey, if I click on command K, it's going to put this into focus. All right, let's go back to the top here and under input. What we want to add in here is a placeholder. We'll add the colon there, placeholder, and then that's going to be equal to a function that we'll create. And let's call the function search placeholder. Okay, I'm just going to copy this text here, and then we'll go down and add that new method. After the mounted area, let's do a comma, and we'll add in our method. I'm just going to paste that in then do the parentheses and then the curly bracket. Okay. For our search placeholder, what we're going to do is see what device the user is currently using and then show command K or windows K depending on their device type for that. We'll add in an if statement and we're going to check via the navigator to see what kind of device this is. Let's type in navigator and then dot app version and then index of, and we'll write in Mac here for Mac devices and do not equals negative one. 
and then curly brackets. So if this is a Mac device, what do we want to return? We want to return search, and then let's say something like the command key, which I'll paste that in here, command K to focus. And let's copy this if statement, and then we'll write another one for Windows. If the navigator.appversion.index of is Windows, or Win, then what we're going to do is instead of search command K, we'll do window K, or Win plus K, I think is pretty common. And let's actually make this an else if. If none of these are true, what we'll have is just a default return. And what do we want to return? Uh, let's just say return and then search. And you know what? This actually shouldn't be methods. It should be computed as this will be a computed property. All right. Here I can see search, then command K to put into focus. So command K, boom, it's into focus.